149 years later, Colgate S toothpaste tube can finally be recycled. Every year, Americans toss a billion tubes of Colgate toothpaste in the trash, and they eventually end up in a landfill. But this year, that could change. Colgate S designers have spent more than five years redesigning the brand's toothpaste tubes, so they can be recycled in curbside bins. Starting in March, these new tubes will roll out across four of Colgate S most popular lines. The company expects every single tube in its portfolio to be recyclable in the United States in 2023 and globally in 2025. But the big question is whether consumers will be able to change their behavior and recycle their old tubes after decades of throwing them in the trash. Colgate, which was founded in 1873 and currently dominates 34% of the toothpaste market in the United States, helped invent the category of oral care. Founder William Colgate's first product was a toothpaste sold in glass jars. As the product became increasingly popular over the next century, the company worked to develop more convenient packaging. In the middle of the 20th century, it developed an aluminum tube, and in 1982, it developed the disposable plastic tube, it is ubiquitous today. The tubes were lighter and less expensive than the aluminum ones, and they were less likely to crack, says Greg Coré. Worldwide Director of Global Packaging and Sustainability at Colgate Palmolive. Colgate as parent company. Colgate as plastic tubes are made from a range of materials. They contain a thin layer of aluminum that keeps the toothpaste fresh and flavorful, and several different types of plastic. Most municipal recycling programs can't recycle products made from mixed materials. The design was focused on functionality rather than what would happen to the tube at the end of its life, Corey says. But in recent years, consumers have become increasingly aware that plastic pollution is destroying our planet. Since plastic was popularized in the early 1950s, 8.3 billion tons of it have been produced. Today, we generate 300 million tons of plastic waste every year. Only 9% of all plastic is recycled, while 12% is incinerated, a process that spews greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The vast majority of this waste 79% ends up in landfills or the natural environment. Since plastic doesn't biodegrade, it simply disintegrates into small fragments called microplastics, which can end up in our oceans, poisoning animals and humans. The cap, however, is made from a polyp rope alien. In most cases, customers will be able to throw the tube and the cap into the recycling bin. But local recycling rules sometimes vary and some recyclers prefer that consumers remove the cap before placing both the tube and the cap in the bin. Corey says there will inevitably be toothpaste residue left in the tube, but consumers don't need to bother cleaning it out before recycling. Since toothpaste is water-soluble, it will get washed out during the cleaning process at the recycling plant. Over the next year, Colgate will be rolling out these tubes slowly as it works with its factories and retailers to bring the tubes to market. The new packaging will debut in its cavity protection, max fresh cool, total widening, and optic white lines and will have artwork that says Recycle Main to alert consumers to the new recyclability. In the interim, the rest of Colgate's toothpaste lines won't be recyclable nor will other brands on the market. Colgate realizes this patchwork approach isn't ideal, but its ultimate goal is to make recyclable plastic tubes the norm. In 2020, When it first launched a prototype of the tube for Toms of Maine, the natural brand and an independent subsidiary of Colgate Palmolive, it submitted the tube to the Association of Plastic Recyclers, a trade organization that helps create standards for the industry. Once the tube was approved, Colgate made its design open source so that other brands could adopt it. Corey says Colgate worked with its third-party factories to manufacture this new tube. Other brands that rely on the same suppliers will be able to easily switch to the new design. Even while launching a recyclable tube, Core A is aware that it's not the only solution to the environmental crisis. Some activists argue that it's better to eradicate plastic from products altogether, since there's no guarantee consumers will recycle it. Core's team is continuing to explore sustainable new materials, such as compost-able packaging and creating refillable containers. Our strategy is pretty broad, Core says. We've got 9 million tubes around the world to worry about right now, so we had to do something now, but we are looking into next generation materials. We've got several irons in the fire.